Hello friends! So I hate to just start off this video with editing sim, but I didn't like the intro that I made to this video. I really didn't explain that this is a vlog! <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna be trying out a new skincare brand, which is really really exciting for me. I'm gonna be building some IKEA furniture. It's gonna be a good one. Let's just jump right into the video. Hello people! This brand reached out to me and sent me some of their products to try out, which is pretty perfect. So they're a skincare brand, but it's completely personalized. And as you can tell, my skin is not super happy right now. So I thought I'd do a little unboxing. The box that it came in is so cute. It comes with five different things. It has a daily cleanser, a day cream, a serum, night cream, and a face mask. I want to say I've got like 30 days to try this stuff out before I have to post this video. So I will be able to like really see how it works for my skin. But yeah, I filled out like a whole entire questionnaire of what my skin is like, what I want my skin to be like after using these products, what it needs, all that kind of stuff. They like personalize all of this for you, which is really cool. I'm super excited to try all this out. It looks very nice. I think I'm gonna do like a first impressions in just a second because I'm super excited. Hello from my bathroom. It's time to try these products out. I am so excited. Also, look how much pink is going on. This is so cute. As far as skincare, I've only ever used like really, really cheap drugstore stuff, which are not personalized whatsoever. I've tried Glossier. I'm kind of on the fence about them. Nothing has like really blown me out of the water. So I really like the concept of having something that's more personalized. So I was like super excited when this company reached out to me. I'm gonna start off with the cleanser. Very importantly, I always like to wash my hands before I do anything with my face. Now I can get started. I really like their packaging so far too. It's like super lightweight. Ooh. Mmm, smells really good. It's got like a very light scent. I don't really know how to describe the scent. I'm really bad at describing scents, but it's like really light and refreshing though. Yeah, I actually like really like how my skin feels after that. It feels clean and it feels really soft. Really want to try this face mask. I'm going to do it now and then once I wash it off, I'm going to come back and do the rest of the steps. Because I haven't done a face mask in a really long time and I'm honestly so excited that they sent me this. Mmm, smells good. It says to leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. Wow, I really feel like my skin looks so good literally just from the cleanser already. Like, that's actually kind of crazy. Face mask is on. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for like 15 to 20 minutes and then I will check back in with you guys. Meanwhile. All right, my 20 minutes is up. So this is not a peel off, thankfully. I just have to get it with a damp rag. This obviously felt really good on my skin. It tingled just a little bit, but nothing over the top. It didn't irritate my skin or anything. And I do have pretty sensitive skin. So this is like their day cream, which has 30 SPF. I've been getting pimples like under my chin lately. I don't really understand that if I'm being completely honest. It feels great. It's not tacky at all. Like that literally sank right into my skin. What the heck? That one has a slight scent to it too. Again, nothing like overpowering. But yeah, it feels really amazing. Obviously, I'm gonna have to see like long term how my skin reacts, but like I love this. So this says to apply to your hands and then rub on your face. I love serums so much. One, two, three. Can't get three. It's okay two will have to do. Oh my goodness. I don't understand the sorcery. It literally just instantly sinks into my skin. This is nutso. I have the issue where like I really don't like lotion because I feel like it leaves a film on my skin and it feels really like tacky and sticky and I don't like that at all. But I'm not kidding you. This instantaneously sinks into my skin. My skin feels so soft. I feel super refreshed. I feel snatched. Can you guys see how good my skin looks? I'm gonna take you in the sun in just a second so you can like really see the texture of my skin. I'm gonna try this cream probably tonight because I don't wanna like overdo it. Yeah, this one actually does not have much of a scent, but yeah, it looks really nice. Wow, I'm overall very happy. Let's go take a look at how my skin looks in better lighting. Now that I'm in better lighting, you can see how glowy my face looks right now. It literally looks so good. I'm also blinded, so I apologize, but yeah, I'm having like some major breakouts on my chin and just like below my mouth and then i have some 
under my chin as well, which is just wonderful. Every once in a while, because I have to wear a mask so often, I'll get it like right on my cheeks. This is like pretty much as bad as it gets. I don't know. I'm honestly pretty blessed. I don't have super bad skin problems. I really just get like pimples like when it's around my period or if I've just been eating like crap. I don't feel like I have super bad skin problems. It's just like dryness and oiliness. I'm kind of like a mix of both. So yeah, it's kind of hard to find something that like perfectly suits my skin. So yeah, this is the very first day using this. This is what my skin's looking like. I mean, obviously I just used all the products, so I'm like glowy and looking great but yeah pimple wise and everything this is where my skin's at i'll check in with you guys in maybe like a week or two after i've been using these products for a while and let you guys know what i really think but first impressions i'm honestly really loving it i'm super impressed so yeah i will see you guys bye one week later hello friends it is a sunny day and i figured i would do a check-in i got my skincare package February 2nd, I believe. And today is February 12th. <laughs> yeah, it's February 12th. So it's been about 10 days. I don't do my skincare routine every single day. I am gonna go ahead and set y'all down so that I can do my routine. I'm not feeling that hot right now. I just started my period today. And of course that helped me to realize that all these breakouts were just stress slash period acne which is so hot okay headband is on i just have like a really bad headache right now so i was like why not wash my face <laughs> as far as my skin though like i can say i'm you know a little over a week into using these products and i seriously do love them i feel like now that i'm like in my 20s i'm starting to actually see things going like wrong with my skin like i'm seeing imperfections dark circles some bagginess under here i have texture i don't even know what that is it's not a pimple um i have a little bit of texture right up here this is my main breakout area is my chin which i've heard is because i eat a lot of sugar or more so i drink a lot of sugar because i guess i'll let my secret out now i really don't drink water i don't want to get into it in this video but i do not drink water I drink juice and stuff, so that's where, like, most of my sugar intake comes from. So I really want to try to get better about that this year because I think my skin will honestly really do a 180 if I start actually drinking water like everybody tells me to. Starting off, step one, back to the product. So yeah, I had all these pimples down here and I feel like they're finally clearing up, thank goodness. I really hate having breakouts because... I'm a really anxious person, so I just pick at them, and that's why I have scarring all through there, which is just wonderful. My allergies have also been bugging me today, so that was another reason that I was like, I should just wash my face. So yeah, the cleanser is like super gentle. I honestly love it. I definitely prefer it over any other cleanser I've ever tried, so there you go. Here is my favorite thing about these products so for one i absolutely love that the day cream has spf 30 in it like that is so good i really love that they built in sunscreen because i mean it's hard enough to get me to do my skin routine every day anyway let alone to have to remember to put sunscreen on so this just like knocks that out for me which is really nice my skin is hydrated and protected at the same time my favorite thing about these products oh my god they sink into my skin so fast and my skin looks incredible. Literally just instant, not full on dewiness, but it just has like a really healthy glow. I always find that I use just like a lot of serum. You don't really need much, a little goes a long way. I mean, they give you a lot of products, so this stuff really will last you a long time. Yeah, it literally takes not even 30 seconds to fully sink into my skin, which I love because I feel like my skin is actually getting the nutrients and everything so that's it because the only other step is the night cream and obviously i don't need to put that on until i'm going to bed so my skin feels so refreshed i'm actually really glad i did that <sighs> i'm just gonna put on a little bit of chapstick because my lips have been struggling so bad i think this will be like probably my halfway checkpoint and i think that i honestly started this at a really good time because i was like 
PMSing when I first got the package. So my skin was like really not doing hot. And now as I'm not only moving through my cycle, but as I'm like using these products, I can really see how it's benefiting my skin. And like I said, I genuinely love this stuff so much. I'm so happy they reached out to me and that I got to partner with them. I think I'm gonna go take you guys into the sunshine so that you can really see where my skin is at compared to when I started this video. Okay, so yeah, you can really see all of this on my chin. It is completely flat, but it's a little bit scarred. So I do really wanna see, oh my God, it's so bright. I do really want to see if these products help to kind of lighten up these dark spots a little bit. You can really see how glowy and beautiful my skin looks. I have a lot of like redness. Like I said, I have dark circles. I have a little bit of scarring, but my skin is clear and it is glowing and that's what really matters. Oh, I've also been staying on top of like shaving my face too, getting all those baby hairs off. I don't do it with like the eyebrow razor, I just do it with trimmers. Anyways, just thought I'd throw that in there, but it's like my almost two week check-in. I can't wait to show you guys how my skin is looking in a month. I really think that it's already making a difference. Considering the amount of effort I'm putting in, the fact that I've seen this dramatic of a result already is like really, really impressive. So yeah, I will see you guys in like two weeks and we'll see how my skin is doing then bye two weeks later hey guys so i wanted to pop on here and do my absolute final thoughts on the your skincare brand so yeah i have officially been using it for almost a month now i don't use it on a fully daily basis i use it like in the mornings for sure whenever my skin's looking kind of dull like instead of doing my makeup i've been doing my skincare routine and then like today i just put some brow gel in and a little bit of mascara and that's all i need which that right there makes me so happy because i like doing my makeup like every once in a while but i don't like wearing foundation on a daily basis because it rubs off on everything and creases and all that kind of stuff so like to be able to go barefaced is really awesome for me so yeah as you can tell all of my acne has completely cleared up which makes me so happy they cleared up so fast and as you can tell i have a very minimal amount of scarring around like my chin and that's solely because i pick at my pimples that's kind of on me but otherwise like my skin is so clear right now there's obviously so much more that goes into it than just your skincare routine but i will say having really good and high quality products especially ones that are made by yo skin is gonna really 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 help as you can tell my final thoughts on the product is that i am so hyped i'm really happy that i got full-sized products because i honestly don't want to stop using them i have been trying to find a skincare brand that I really loved and I was a little skeptical like I don't know I feel like skincare is just something that's like you have to actually get good quality products to see a difference like you can't just only use like cheap drugstore stuff I mean you can but like the higher quality products you have the better results you're gonna see if that makes sense but yeah like if you guys want to try your own out Use my link down below, take the skincare quiz, and get your own skincare set. I don't think any of you guys will regret it. Like I said, I have tried out quite a few different skincare brands at this point. Like, I've tried Drugstore, I've tried Glossier, and there's nothing wrong with those products, but I do just see, like, a crazy difference with using these. They feel really gentle and lightweight on my skin, but... They actually absorb, like I don't feel like I just have product like sitting on top of my skin. My skin is so soft and like I said, it completely cleared all of the breakouts that I had down here. I don't really have any scarring. I feel like it really just cleared things out and gave me a really good base. And yeah, I mean, like I said, I don't even really wear makeup on the daily, but I've been feeling way more confident. If I just do my skincare routine in the morning, I get my face glowing, I get my skin looking good, and then all I have to do is pop on mascara comb through my brows and I am actually confident enough to like go out about my day. I mean, I am wearing a mask most of the time, but yeah, that's another thing is that any bit of like mask acne, non-existent. It's awesome. So yeah, I am really hyped on these products. I just wanted to say thank you so much to your skincare for reaching out to me 
and letting me partner with you guys to make this video. I also wanted to mention that this is my first like sponsored video, which is really crazy. Um, I mean, I've had like products sent to me in the past and whatnot, but this was the first time that I had to like sign agreements and all that kind of stuff. I really appreciate any of you who decided to use my link down below or who even just like bothered watching through this because I know that sometimes sponsored content can be like, it can feel really fake and just like you're watching like an ad, you know? But this is truly helping me to get towards making YouTube my full-time job. So thank you guys for the support. And uh, I promise that no matter what, with my sponsorships, I will always be honest and I won't promote anything to you that I don't like or believe in. So yeah, with that being said, absolutely love these products. And although this video is sponsored, I am not getting paid to say anything nice. They wanted my honest opinion and this is what it is. So yeah. Oh, I can also show you guys the before and after because I think that you can like really see a clear difference in how my skin looks. I don't really know what else to say. I'm gonna get on with the rest of the vlog now. So yeah. Thank you. <laughs> 16 paranoia filled days later. It's another day. I don't really know when the last time I vlogged was, but I gotta show you what we just got today. Cause we're doing a few more things around the apartment. So first thing, we got a new trash can at Ikea. It's round. So I think that it's gonna fit like in that corner back there a little bit better. And then, I'm so happy. We got this guy at Menards for literally like 20 bucks. Um, he's huge. And I'm so happy. I'm so excited. And then I got this pot for it at Ikea. And then I got one of those really cheap stools to put him on so that he's like raised up a little bit. Since he is so big, I feel like the kitties are gonna chew on it. And I just like having like height variations like for my plants because a lot of them just sit on the floor. So yeah, I thought that would be really cool. We got a bunch of candles. We have, I got these two like peach, I think ones are like citrusy for the bathroom. And then we always like to have one big one in the kitchen. And then as we were about to check out, I found this one, it's coconut, this smells really good. But yeah, this pot for this big pot was only 10.99, I think, or like 10 bucks. Like that's so cheap. Hi, serpents. <laughs> we got Chris a light for when he's painting and then I finally found some taper candles for my candle holders got some plant food and some potting soil in case we ran out and then kitty's sitting on it but we also got a new shelf for you can't see it but our record corner because we're kind of running out of room there and I want to be able to have more places for plants so yeah um we were looking while we were at Ikea. And I saw like a lot of good stuff that I wanna do for a balcony. So that's gonna be like probably a whole separate video. I wanna do like a complete balcony makeover once spring hits, but he's so cute. But yeah, while it's still like cold, I'm just kind of focusing on doing stuff inside. But yeah, I can't believe that I found that plant for $20 at Menards in the middle of winter. So yeah, anyways, I'm probably gonna do like some time lapses and stuff of us building the shelf after we eat some lunch and then i'll show you just once everything's styled i really want to do an updated apartment tour but that's like the biggest video on my channel but yet so much has changed since i filmed that so if you guys want to see an updated one let me know because i'm really excited to show you guys everything we've done Look at that upgrade. Oh my god, that looks so much better. It fits in that corner, it's so good. The Ikea shelf is done. Well, I have one more shelf to put on it. So the only thing we have to do is move it over into place. And then I need to secure it to the wall. But yeah, it'll be super easy though. Um, I'm gonna have to find a new place for my iconic Beatles poster. A little sad, but you know, I have some ideas brewing in my head. But this shelf is gonna be so much better because it's gonna hold so much more stuff. The only thing is that it's like skinny, so our record player is gonna hang off it a little bit. So are our records, but like, it's already doing that on this shelf anyway, so whatever. You wanna help me clear out this corner, never? Mm -hmm. Do you need chapstick? Maybe. <laughs> there 
here she is. So yeah, we had to take this shelf that goes right here out so that we could open this. But we'll hopefully get a new record player soon. So yeah, it's okay. It works for now. I think it looks so good. Nice and bright and beautiful. My hands are shaky because I haven't eaten in like hours, but I'm taking a little lunch break. I have this really bad tendency where I just like forget to eat and I overwork myself and then I feel like crap. So I'm trying to not do that. So I'm having some lunch now. But yeah, I'm thinking about moving these plants to above the desk because I've been struggling to figure out what to put above the desk. And to be honest, I don't think these plants get enough sun. You would think they would because they're like right here in the corner. But honestly, like they're not doing so hot it sucks because i already put all those big i mean they're not that big but i put holes in the walls to hang the hooks and now i'm gonna have to put new holes in the walls but i will say i got spackle finally and if you can tell i spackled you can see it just a little bit i spackled the holes that are above the desk we just are gonna have to like paint but i'm hoping the plants will cover it and i'll just paint like before we move out but we're actually just about to sign another lease, which I'm so excited about. How do people film and eat? This is really uncomfortable. But yeah, I'm gonna spackle the holes once I take those down. And then I'm gonna hang the Beatles poster right there. It's not a big deal. If they're really gonna be that worried about the walls, they would have done a better job fixing my bathroom. So I just don't really care. Our security deposit was literally $75. So like, if we don't get it back whenever we move, it's really not the end of the world to me. So I don't know, maybe that's not like, the best mindset to have but all i know is that like i don't get in trouble for putting stuff in the walls so i'm gonna enjoy this space while i can and i'm gonna decorate it to the best of my ability so i'm kind of like readjusting my plants right now too and i'm trying to figure out like how they're gonna work best and whatnot but yeah i need to kind of like rearrange things just a little bit i need to have my plants in spots where they're gonna get enough light but also in spots that they actually fit, so yeah. I also thought that I would catch up with you guys a little bit. Me and Chris are talking, and we need to see. This isn't for sure yet, but he might be getting money from un unemployment since he got laid off two separate times because of COVID last year. But you know, he's like starting up sideways and trying to get his own business going and everything, which is great, but because it's a startup company, he's not like fully making like a lot of money. So yeah, the unemployment is gonna help us out a lot. And we were kind of talking about our options today. Cause you know, we've got one more year in this place, which is a lot of time, but also like a year goes by fast. I actually can hardly believe that we have been in this apartment for a full year. Like that's seriously pretty mind blowing. We're kind of thinking like, what are we gonna do after this? You know, we have, constantly gone back and forth between the idea of van life or really more so like rv life because van life would be way too small for two of us and two cats so yeah we've been talking about just our options and like what we want to do with our future i think that we've fully decided that we want to buy land over in the west coast somewhere whether that be california oregon or washington i am aiming more north because i like how it looks up there better and california is stupid expensive we just don't want to like limit ourselves necessarily and i've been seeing a lot of these like shed slash barn that you turn into a tiny house and i want to do it and chris is totally on board of course so we think we want to buy some land i want to live like the slow country life i want to be more self-sustainable i don't think i want to fully live off grid because my plan is to do youtube and social media full time one day so like we're gonna need to have at very least just like internet access and like some power for sure you know but like i still have to do a lot of research into this but i'm just throwing it out there that you know trying to manifest this that that is where we are like going towards in the future i'm not gonna limit myself here anything is possible within this year but we are not wealthy by any means you know it's not like i can just buy land buy this building build a tiny house and travel back and forth constantly plus that won't really work my job too well either but you know we're gonna figure out a way to make it work because this is our dream and then we're wanting to get like a separate smaller shed with a lot of windows so that chris can have his own art studio and i've been looking y'all and straight up we can build a tiny house that has a much larger floor plan than where we're living now 
we're like fully comfortable where we're at now so to have like a bigger space and a separate place for chris to have a studio is gonna be just uh, insane absolutely insane just being the two of us and our two cats having a tiny house on like you know maybe like five or so acres is going to be so much space for us more space than we've literally ever had i want to learn how to like grow a ton of our own food oh my god i just dream of having a tiny house and just having flowers all around it oh my god i have a whole pinterest board i might flash some images up right here and show you guys like what i'm envisioning but yeah i want to have like a loft and then living room dining room kitchen bathroom all of that on like the main floor of it i mean we don't even have a living room space in this apartment we make it work for sure but i'm ready to have just a little bit more space i don't need anything crazy just a little bit more we've wanted to get out of st louis for a really long time oh, spicy. our v life sounds so intriguing and it sounds so amazing but like at the end of the day i don't know how realistic it is for us it's very risky. If I'm gonna dump all this money into converting an RV and then to have to have savings on top of it to make sure we're safe on the road, I would just rather spend that money to have some land. You know what I mean? Like it just, I crave stability more than I crave like adventure. And if we move somewhere on the West, on the West Coast, all these days where we're here in st louis where we drive like two three four hours away just to go see a park that looks the same as the next because we're in the midwest imagine what that's going to be like on the west coast so like we're going to be able to travel a ton if not just way more than we do now we were talking about that all morning so it's on my mind it's fresh and i'm really excited and i'm really looking forward to the future also in other news as of yesterday, I went down to part-time at my work. Not like crazy part-time, I'm only bumping down like five hours and I'm gonna flip back and forth with having two days and then three days off. And that's gonna give me so much time, so much time to do YouTube. I'm so excited. Um, my job has been absolutely wrecking my mental health lately. Still love a lot of things about my job and a lot of like aspects about my job and whatnot, but yeah, it's been rough working through a pandemic and i just yeah like i said i have mentally just not really been doing that great so i am ready for this whole new chapter where i can focus on my future and focus on just other things that i have going on in my life besides work for the most part i just i do nothing but work and it really makes me sad because i miss painting i miss being creative i miss hiking i miss hanging out at home and being with my cats and with my boyfriend like i might be making a little bit less money at my job I'll still have plenty to pay the bills. It's really going to help my mental health. So I'm finally, I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of me. Luckily, I am very, very fortunate that I can afford to live here and that Chris can be out of work, getting unemployment and starting up his business and that I can work part-time and then do YouTube my other part of the time. I just really, really hope that one day I can do YouTube full-time. So... If you want to support my dreams, yo, please subscribe to me and thumbs up my videos, comment, do whatever you can to help kind of like with the algorithm and everything so that I can really hopefully potentially do this one day. YouTubers have to make money and like it or not, believe it or not, content creation is a full-time fucking job and trying to balance working and doing YouTube is really hard. So that's why I'm just like trying to do it like 50-50 right now. I don't wanna ramble on too much, but I just like checking in with you guys in my vlogs because I don't wanna feel like disconnected from you guys too much. And it feels good to just have you guys to talk to and to like update people on my life and whatnot. Anyways, with all that being said, that's where I'm at. I finished my lunch and I am going to keep rearranging my plants and all that i'm like looking around coming up with like potential ideas for what i'm gonna do probably just gonna do a time lapse and let you guys watch my whole process let's just let's get into it okay i'm rearranging some plants but Chris just got home. He didn't get his Xbox, sadly, but I want to see his reaction. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm just gonna start potting. Hi, love. No notice? What? Oh, 
what you did it. What do you think? I like that. Really? You're you right, do? it balances out more. It does. Glad you're not mad. No. Especially since you did it while I was gone. <laughs> So I figured it was, that's why, like, when you said you were thinking about doing that, I was like, oh, God, this is going to be a task. Was it easy or? Super easy. Oh, my God. Hell, yeah. Maybe I, I filled the holes and everything. Just I was scared that you gone. weren't going to be able to drill holes into that spot. And it was going to be a whole. Baby, I am a strong, walls. independent woman. Hey, guys. I just realized that I never filmed an outro for this video either way to go but i figured that i would show you guys how our walls are looking since i just kind of abruptly ended off and forgot to show you guys pretty sure you guys already saw the shelf but let me flip you guys around so yeah i have the plants above the desk which i think looks so good hello and then the beetles poster over in this corner all of my plants are out on the balcony right now getting some sun so he's kitty but yeah i just feel like it fills the space a little bit better that way it's not like poster poster plants it's like plant painting plants poster you know what i'm saying so yeah i think it looks really good i love those being above the desk i think they're gonna get so much more light so yeah very happy so prince is happy and sleepy so yeah this was definitely a long vlog so i appreciate it if you made it this far give this video a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to me of course and i will see you guys in my next video bye